Welcome to another edition of How to Draw. Today I'm going to be drawing a fan favourite character from the Walking Dead TV show and this is going to be Daryl Dixon. Now Daryl Dixon, um, I feel like I should clarify, that's D-I-X <laughs> O-N. It's not, um, it's not D-I-C-K-S-O-N because that's quite rude, you see. Um, so basically, yeah, Daryl Dixon, uh, we're going to draw his hand this end on one side and then on the other side we'll draw his other hand basically with one hand and then on this hand what I'm going to do is draw it up here like that um, then his elbow there and then his muscles coming out the other side of his shoulder uh, because in this hand if you draw a coil around like that this is going to be a non-standard technique basically you want to draw him holding something in this hand so draw the n correct number of fingers and then draw the bottom of his classic weapon you know it's that very iconic weapon that he carries around uh, the crossbow so draw the crossbow like that cut in and then draw an arrow in it and then the crossbowy bit like that and then there we go and then his thumb like that and his other thumb the other side just coming out the other side uh, right so now draw his torso and then his legs he's going to be lunging forward with this leg and I like drawing because Daryl Dixon is such a fan favourite character I like to draw him quite muscular um, because obviously he's so cool muscularity is like the coolest thing and he has those shoes doesn't he? He has those shoes on. Um, this is his poncho, his Mexican poncho. So we're going to draw like some Mexican patterns on there. So first we'll draw some lines. And I personally have never seen a, a Mexican without a nacho in their hand. So draw some nachos. Um, also draw some mustaches. Just here and there. And uh, they're also famous for their hot hoods. Hot hood. So because of their hot food, draw some chilies. All over it. And then Daryl Dixon's head. Um, now because Daryl Dixon, this is a character based on a real character, you have to use a certain amount of, um, what's the word, of respect. And also, it's really import important to draw him accurately. So as you can see, season 3 slash 4 look is a little bit more, you could almost call it emo, um, I think is fair to say, um, with his hair sweeped over in this motion. Um, and then some bits like that, like spiking up, and then some spiky bits down the back like this, and also a spiky bit up like that. So it's kind of like super, super fresh, super cool style. Um, now, in terms of nose, I would draw a small bridge like that, and then slightly pointed nose, and then nostrils. Again, nostrils, not necessary. Um, um, mouth, I'd do fairly small lips like this. Yeah, I'm really happy with those lips, that looks perfect. And then some lines, and then lines underneath the eyes. And his eyes, it almost, almost looks a little bit oriental, the way that his eyes are. So there's his eyebrows, and then, so now we're going to draw his eyes like that. And then tiny pupils and just an eyelid as well. Um, and then some hair marks, and some hair, and then you can see his t-shirt through there. And then just draw the line for his t-shirt there as well and his pockets and just some shading Okay. now it's time for some colour so we're going to draw the poncho first of all poncho in red for the chilies purple for the nachos and green, just some green lines all over it Mexican amazing both ways of course now skin colour, just want to pick up the highlights of his skin, um, because he is quite a hunky man, we're going to draw him like quite almost quite tanned, um, so I like to do like orange detailing for the skin, really really looks good, um, and yeah, just some orange highlighting around the bottom of his t-shirt, his thumbs, and then his shoes as well, orange highlighting for the skin tone of his shoes. And then the rest of him just do brown. 
um, so yeah, brown legs. Um, and also, it's heavily implied um, both his relationship with Carol and also his hinted at homosexual incestuous relationship with his brother um, that he is a massive, massive sexual deviant. Um, so what I'm going to do is just add a really nice trail of semen from his penis area. Um, just because I think it's important to show that as part of his character. And also finally, just because his arrows are green, just add a thing there. Um, so there we have it guys, it's Daryl Dixon from the popular The Walking Dead TV show. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments or requests, please let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, goodbye.